Hello gorgeous souls, welcome to your monthly astrology. This August makes us get in that time machine and go back to situations in the past. It's time to reflect, review and think about the changes that you can make that potentially you could have made when we had the first full moon in Aquarius. Because there's the second blue moon in Aquarius, which is going to bring about some form of completion for us. There is so much going on and a lot of magic to be had, as well as us focusing on our health and well-being, taking care of the details. That is the magic of August. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Scorpio, you are a powerful co-creator of your life this August. You can really conjure up some magic. The beginning of the month is a lot about your career and there's brilliant opportunities for you when it comes to your career. And that kicks off from the get-go because on August the 1st, we have the sun joining forces with Mercury in your career zone. So that vibe is strong. You know, you're confident about what you can do and suddenly, hopefully, more optimistic about your career and there should be opportunities left, right and centre uh, with somebody trying to help you. If you might feel a bit restricted when it comes to your home and family and the balance, your work-life balance, but you know what? I would just focus on that Sun conjunct Mercury giving you the optimism to know that you can achieve anything you want at the moment and it's coming towards you. And that is further buoyed by the new moon in Leo in your career zone on August the 8th. That is a time to make a wish about where you're going when it comes to your career, what you desire, and to let go of the past. So any beliefs that have been holding you back when you think about your career and your reputation and what you're capable of, you know, this is a new start. It's a fresh start. It's a clean slate. You can begin again when it comes to your career and dive in and manifest what you desire in that way. And talking about manifestation, when Mercury goes in, into Virgo on August the 11th, that's when, <laughs> seriously, you have superpowers when it comes to manifesting. So think about what you want to create, what dreams you believe are possible and head towards them, not only by calling them into being, which you'll be great at, but taking practical steps to make them happen. Venus is going into your very soppy and romantic zone on August the 16th, but be careful about boundaries. It's almost like there are no boundaries. You'll be daydreaming, fantasizing, desiring, having psychic connections with people, and also you live for pleasure. You, you know, temptation is all around you when, when Venus is there. With Mercury and Mars in your position of manifestation, community, collaboration and friendships and socialising, you should be having a good time in August. And on the 19th, when, when Mercury and Mars join forces together, it's the same day as a grand Earth trine if you include the moon. So there's uh, a searing passion and desire to ground your future. And it's you're starting to trust your ideas you know, you're not second guessing yourself. On the 20th, Uranus is going retrograde. There may be a surprise contact from an ex-lover or a surprise desire for someone in the past or even you thinking back to the beginning of a relationship uh, or, you know, potentially even a business relationship. But it tends to be, you know, whatever it is, it's quite a shock. Could be a good shock. Probably is a good shock. Let me know what happens. Uh, the full moon in Aquarius on the 22nd is in your home and family zone. There is so much going on on the 22nd. I don't even know where to begin, but let's start with this full moon. There's a peak experience when it comes to your home and family. And you're like, whoa, some excitement, maybe a sign, maybe a strange coincidence that leads you on your way when it comes to your home and family. On the same day, the sun goes into that manifesting zone, community, uh, friendship zone, thrilling experiences with groups of people, whatever that may be. Um, and Mars is trying Uranus. So there's a spark of excitement in the air, potentially, you know, frizzing of passion. And just to make that even more complicated, on the same day, we have Venus trying the North Node. So you're thinking about your future and there may be some very intense feelings pushing you onwards. Sometimes when we repress our feelings, we don't admit our desires and we push them down. 
You know, that's all well and good. But when they whoo, come up and, and surprise us they, and we surrender to them and we look at them, we go, OK, I'm feeling this for a reason. And we analyse them. It can give us real treasure to spur us on to push out of a comfort zone. And that's likely to happen on the 22nd. Mercury is also trying your ruler Pluto on the 26th, a powerful day for you to talk. Uh, it's a great day for doing a talk to a group. So if you're thinking about doing a Facebook or Instagram or YouTube live, that is a really powerful day for you to do it. If, you, if you're doing anything with groups of people, that day is very good for you. So if you want to organise any meetings, I would plump for the 26th. Finally, Mercury is going into your psychic zone. Pay attention to your intuition. It is strong this month. Take care, fabulous one, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight, astrologer, and of course, my website, michelleknight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.